Hey, hey, and welcome to Halls of the Damned. In my opinion, the best level in the Shores of Hell. And I feel this opening is pretty fun. If you come in here with a pistol start, obviously this Kako Demon could present a problem because there isn't that much ammo floating around. But luckily, if you're smart, you can get through this pretty easily. There's a box of shotgun shells around here. What I like about this level is that it's pretty open in how you can approach it. So once you get into the main area of the level, which obviously is not this area, then you pretty much have a choice on how you want to approach it. And I like that. I think that goes pretty nicely against everything else that we've seen so far. We'll take out these guys here. So if we go down this corridor here, the blue key is around that corner. There's a trap there in that wall. But if you run around here, you can actually set the trap off from a safe distance. Now obviously I'm just going to run up to these enemies and punch them. The reason you want to do this is because you don't want to get ambushed in that corner where the blue key is because it's very easy to get overwhelmed by all these pink keys. And since we don't have any armor right now, it makes sense for us to control this battlefield as much as possible. There is a chain gun behind this wall as well. So from this point forward, you pretty much get a choice on like, you can either go for the red key or you can go for the yellow key. You can go through this door here to get the yellow key or the red key is in the maze here. I do actually like this maze. I think it's very atmospheric. I think it's very well designed. I think the fact that it's pinkies in here as well means that like there's always a danger that you're going to get attacked from behind silently because it's very hard to track pinkies because they, they sort of get right up to you and block you. But if you know where you're going, this isn't too much of a trouble. But yeah, the reason I, I think this is the best level in the Shores of Hell is just because I think this is the most fun level. I think one of the problems I have with the Shores of Hell is that it plays things a bit too safe. Knee Deep in the Dead really has solid level design across the board, in my opinion, bar one or two levels. And I think Inferno is very experimental, but I think the Shores of Hell, it sort of goes like in the middle where it's not got as great levels and it doesn't experiment as much so you kind of end up with this level set that's it's okay don't get me wrong i think it's overall like i said in my um ranking video a bit better oh god this god do you mind <laughs> do you mind there we go yeah i mean i'm in a punching mood today but, do, but clearing that Baron there means we can come in here without getting blocked. If you try coming in here without killing the Baron and the Pinkies, what ends up happening, you end up getting trapped in this room. I actually prefer how this looks in the console version as well. Um, in a lot of the um, Jaguar port levels, this actually has the sky texture above it here. And I think that just makes this so much better to look at. It's better than this roof texture here but that's just my opinion that's personal preference but yeah the shores of hell for my money it's 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 a, it's a very safe episode it doesn't excel it has some fun levels in it but i think this is the peak of that fun level obviously we just grabbed the plasma rifle there didn't want to set off the trap with the lost souls either because i think that would have been a waste of time there's no point in killing all those lost souls We've just grabbed the red key there, and that means we can kill all these enemies here. That's one of the reasons why I haven't really done that many showcases so far for the Shores of Hell, just because there's not really a lot to say about the levels. Um, containment area is interesting, but I think like once you get out of the boxed area, it just kind of becomes like a very meh level. It kind of loses that character. And that's the thing with a lot of these Shores of Hell levels. I think that they just kind of, they don't hit that top mark as much as levels in Inferno and Knee Deep in the Dead do. But of course, like, then they're a lot more consistent than Inferno's levels. So if we dive in here, we can take out the Lost Souls here. Obviously because I've been using my fists a lot. We have quite a bit of shotgun ammo, which is really useful if we need it. Oh god, please don't kill me. Oh, please don't kill me. Okay, good. <laughs> I was a bit worried there he was going to um, show me up and kill me. So as you can see, these walls haven't opened up yet. Once I think once we click the switch in here, I think um, those walls open up and a bunch of pinkies and barons will come s s racing out. One of the reasons I do this last is because it avoids 
all of them running down towards me. Because if you do it, if you do the maze last, those pinkies will just run in after you. So there's quite a few trap rooms here, and I like this because if you're a first time player, you come into these areas, you have no idea what's in these rooms. And you're just sort of exploring, exploring, exploring. And you could easily get caught in this trap. There's, there's, there's a trap here, there's a trap to the left, and there's a trap to the right. And they're all very different kinds of traps, which I appreciate. But there's also a lot of ammo in here, which is what we're going to grab. But I don't think there's been a level so far in Ultimate Doom where you've had this kind of level of openness to just go and explore a level. Obviously, this is another trap, because we pick up the chain gun here, and a bunch of lost souls and imps will come chasing out at us here. Obviously, if you don't know that that's coming, that's going to be a very painful room for you. Oh, the pinky. I forgot about the pinky. The traps aren't unfair, but they're here to catch you out. And I do like, I, I like that they're all kind of different traps. Because that was an ambush trap. And obviously, there's, this is probably the most famous trap in Doom. Where there's a fake exit. And... If you're a first time player, you're, you're like, oh, I don't have to backtrack across the level, I can just exit here. Is this a secret level or something? And obviously, it's not. We know it's not, but... Back in 1993, I can imagine it caught out more than a handful of gamers who wandered in there. And we'll set it off in a minute just to see what it does. So we'll head out here. Again, once you pick up the yellow key, it opens up another trap. And you can see that these traps aren't necessarily essential. You could run right through all this, but they do lead, lead to some fun encounters, I think. Again, the Shores of Hell for me is one of those episodes where it's not overly brilliant, but I think that it's very middle of the road. And I think that this level is the best of the bunch. So you can see there, you drop down, you'd have a bunch of shotgunners and caco demons on you. There's, you can see the caco demon to the right there. Ugh. The rockets. The rockets um, here is disgusting. Let's get rid of you. So you can see there's still a bunch of enemies down here that we've got to deal with. As said, this would have been a nasty trap to walk into blind. Like, if you thought that was the exit and you came down here, you'd, you'd be in for a really nasty surprise. But it's fun. I do totally understand, by the way, why people may not like this level. Because, this is, because being open and having so many traps, it kind of feels very different to the other levels in Doom so far. So I totally understand why some people may not like what they see here. We're going to kill the enemies here just so we can get the 100% kill on this level. What I do like is that these two pinkies here are set to ambush so they won't actually attack you because you fire your gun in here. They'll actually wait until you're in front of them before they make their move. So I love how those pinkies there are glitched. Um, I don't know if that's intentional or not. I'm guessing it is because I think the Baron's supposed to fight his way through them. But you can see, oh god, hello. So yeah, the pinkies from around the other corner have come running to say hello to me. Oh, there's the other Baron. So we're going to have two Barons on us in a second. Ah, uh, here comes the other Baron. So I'm going to take this guy out with my fist here. Why not? I did, I did, I did use all my rockets up earlier, which was very silly of me. But you can see how this is quite a tense fight because, obviously, we're back, we're being backed up here by these barons. Oh god, oh that was nasty. Oh okay, he's actually doing quite a bit of damage. Okay, oh, mm, I want to mm, go on, go down, go down. Oh god, come on, go down. Yes, excellent. So. Honestly, like I said, this is one of my favourite Ultimate Doom levels. Personally, for me, I think it's the right mix of experimental and it's a really nice change of pace for the Shores of Hell, which up to this point, I think, has been a bit safe. Obviously, I know people disagree with that. I know some people really do not like this one. But for my money, this is a really fun Doom level. I think that it hits all the right points and I think that this is the high point for 
the Shores of Hell, definitely. And I think that it's definitely in my top five Ultimate Doom levels. But let me know what you think. Do you like this level? Do you hate this level?